everything that is radio is going to be subject to interference okay i mean you see it when you get in a car and you drive you know you switch on the radio cambridge fm you drive and i drive 30 miles out and i start to hear a lot of you know static a lot of you know interference on the radio and either i adjust a little bit to see if it gets better but after a while yeah yeah lots of interference and it kind of becomes a nuisance and I don't want to listen to it anymore. Does that mean that the radio stops, that that radio wave dies at that point in time? Not really, because radio waves really go on forever, right? The radio, you know, when, when a radio wave goes out, it just keeps going on for, for forever. It just gets progressively weaker and weaker and weaker. And if you wanted to receive it, you would need to have a really powerful receiver to be able to get that signal now think about that that that's that's what happens right um, if you think about um, uh, the International Space Station it's sitting you know hundreds I mean thousands of miles away above us floating somewhere above us how do we communicate? We communicate using radio. It's moving at an incredible speed, but there are earth stations that receive those signals. So even though they might be weak, takes quite a while to get there, you know, you probably couldn't pick up that signal using a mobile phone. Maybe you can, I, I've, ne I've never tried, I don't know. But there will be transmitters that will pick these up. You think about uh, um, uh, astronomy and you have these massive dishes, you know, listening, listening to signals coming from outer space. Why are they so big? Because they need to be super sensitive to receive, you know, light or to receive, for example, these these radio signals that are that are being beamed, you know, or, or just appearing from from outer space. So you get you get the idea, right? There's always going to be interference, okay? Um, interference. I've even seen it here in the UK um, with a satellite dish. We're watching television using a satellite dish, and if there's a bad thunderstorm, you there would be so much interference that you'd actually lose the signal. So in Wi-Fi, it's exactly the same. Um, here, for example, on this particular slide you can see this interference over here now remember we spoke in the last session about the the different bands this one is a 2.4 gigahertz band and microwaves ovens emit uh, radiation in this particular band right because they use radio frequency to heat up the molecules in the food and it, it stimulates those molecules they get heated up and that's how your food gets uh, gets gets cooked okay so I mean we it's not going to fry you that's why you know you can't you can't you know press the start button if the door is not closed you know so they safe uh, and stuff like that but inside that's what what's happening but depending on the insulation quality and the age of the microwave, you might find that if you have an access point close to a microwave and someone wants to do cooking, you're going to lose your, your Wi-Fi signal. It's not going to work really that well because of, uh, because of interference, right?